Welcome to Caravan of the Year 2023, sponsored by MSA 4x4 Accessories. Now we're in the Yarra Valley with 12 exceptional caravans, including this Kingsman 1906 by Highline. Now this is a family van built to go off-road. Let's hear what the four judges have to say. At $130,000, this might appear to be a van that's a little more expensive than usual, but I reckon it's really good value. It's 19 foot six long, so that makes it a good van when you're touring. It's a family layout, which has an island bed at the front and triple bunks down the back. So you can fit a family of five in without too much trouble. It's designed for off-road use, so for the family that perhaps doesn't want to do the real rough stuff, but, but get away from it all, it's, it's a good van, it's, it's good value, and it certainly has everything that a family might need. The Highline Kingsman rolled in with a P400 projector BMS system. Now this is a brand new state-of-the-art system, lithium ready, capable of charging at 45 amp. I really like that. This is the sort of thing that will recharge your batteries quickly from AC or from the solar on the roof. Although the Kinsman only had twin 95 litre tanks, it also has a mains pressure bypass. So when you're in a holiday park, you can run straight through a filter, past your tanks to the taps and shower, preserving the water you've bought from home. An important feature for self-sufficiency is cool storage. And it's great to see the Kinsman has a 274 litre upright fridge. Look, for a 19 foot six fan, I thought there was plenty of room for a family. Uh, I like the, uh, the fact that the, the door uh, closed off the, the kids room. There was a separate ensuite, another door there, which sometimes you don't see. I really like that. The 274 litre fridge should be big enough for another family. I think that's another plus. And I really like the, the decor, the um, white sink and the white cupboards gave it a really nice fresh look. The Highline Kinsman is an off-road family van. It has a queen bed for the parents uh, at the front and three bunks for the kids up the back. It's got enough water storage and power to keep a family um, camping off-grid for quite a while and still enjoying all those creature comforts that they enjoy at home, especially the kids. For the X Factor, I reckon this van has a very well-sized kitchen. Often kitchens in a family van are quite small, but this van is, is good. I reckon whoever cooks will find room to move. In addition to that, it's an easy on the eye layout. Some layouts can often look a bit clustered or make the van feel small, but this one certainly doesn't do that. The other feature I really liked in this van was the covered space in the rear bedroom. Um, when a family travels, of course, they all like to have gear with them. And this particular arrangement certainly had space for every family member to have their own little shelf. And I reckon that was a good thing in a family van. Looking underneath the Kinsman, I was pleasantly surprised with how neat and tidy all of the plumbing and wiring is. The team at Highline uses CNC cut ply wall system. Now it's not an uncommon system. Its penalty is weight, but its advantage is its strength and its ability to allow a small amount of flex. Now that's matched with a honeycomb floor and a composite roof structure that covers from the front right across to the back. The chassis under the Kinsman is by Intelligent Engineering and it runs on Tough Ride independent suspension. Now the Tough Ride suspension has a decent warranty at three plus two years and an unlimited warranty on its bushes. The Kinsman 19 foot six long, but it's pretty hefty at 28, 30 kilograms when it's empty. We towed with a two litre Ranger and it wasn't a problem. Up the hill, it was fine. I wouldn't say we didn't know it was there. There was plenty of power to get us up the hill. There's a quite a few innovations in the Kinsman that I'd not seen before. It seems that as if the, the creature comforts that we enjoy at home and now becoming commonplace in caravans, whereas once they weren't. And you know, things like smart TVs, built-in phone chargers, soft closing drawers, waterfall cabinetry. Uh, the Kinsman had a beautiful white sink, which I'd not seen um, before. So leather couches, a lot of these creature comforts are now becoming standard in caravans. And the Kinsman is a $130,000 caravan. So it's great to see a van where you can get those creature comforts at not a hugely high price tag. The team at Highline have recently put on a dedicated warranty officer who's there to help with the smallest of problems you might have. They also have agents across most of Australia, including all of the seaboard on the eastern coast. 
For me, the Kinsman has great appeal for its somewhat traditional capacities, size, and weights. It's not too big, not too long, not too heavy, and it has just about everything you need. And that's reflected in its price. To me, it's actually a very good package, reasonably priced. 